What song you got in your head? That song I was telling you. Oh, sing it again. I'm not singing, I'm humming. Well, yeah, you know what I'm at. Push the button for me. Anyway, it is Thanksgiving Eve, and yes, my husband said we were going to cook dinner on Monday night. So, yes, I'm going on Thanksgiving Eve at 5.30, almost 6 o'clock at night, into the stores with the monsters. I don't, I'm not excited. You go ahead, baby. I'll go right behind you. Henceforth, why I brought Stinky with me to help because it's, it's supposed to be a madhouse. I already know it is. So we're gonna listen to some Christmas tunes to get into the holiday spirit, so I don't go crazy. And yeah, we got She's the like list. Okay. Yeah. Nani's got the list, and we got the tunes. We got some water. I'm gonna stay hydrated. Let's go, guys. I'm gonna take you. Y'all gonna see. These stories about to be crazy. Y'all already know. All right, you guys, we are done, okay? When I tell you, baby girl, and I killed it, okay, we did, we did. Was there a lot of people? Yes, well, kind of, yes. We were in a long line at Walmart. So first of all, we went to Kroger's, which is across the street, and we were able to get everything but elbow macaroni, and they didn't have any smoked meats. Um. The roast were slim pickings, and we didn't want turkey. We already decided that. So we ended up getting a pork. A, yeah. So I got, well, I like the turkey, the smoked turkey. I like turkey, like in my dressing, and I like it, um, like in my, you know, greens and stuff like that. But for the sake of argument, uh, they didn't have any smoked meats so we came across the street to walmart and we were able to find some ham hocks and i got to get a pork roast we don't genuinely eat a lot of pork at my house so this is definitely a holiday kind of special thing um fingers crossed that i don't get sick <laughs> i know they won't they're gonna freaking enjoy every minute of it but um you gonna enjoy all that pork roast because we don't never really have pork we always get beef roast so i don't even know if you've even had a pork roast we probably had that in Anna's. But, um, yeah, so we got, we had to come to Walmart to get, um, we got ham hocks and they still didn't have any elbow macaroni. So we ended up getting, what kind of noodles did we get? Rigatoni. Yeah, rigatoni. It was either ziti or rigatoni. So we got rigatoni. the rigatonis. It's big and it's more easy and more cheesy because we have more cheese out of it. <laughs> that's it. That's what she was going for. She was like, that was the a small plus. This one is barely your cheese. Ah, yeah. so you want more noodle to your cheese? I want you want... more. I want more all. I know that's Ooh. right. <laughs> <laughs> we all, of all it. the mac. Yeah, I say I can't walk back in that house without no macaroni and cheese. We ain't gonna go for that one. <laughs> so we got everything. So on the menu tomorrow, and Sticky's gonna help me with chopping and cutting everything up. We are making. Uh, cornbread dressing, candy yams, macaroni and cheese, greens, potato salad, green beans, and a pork roast. So and we got the uh, Hawaiian rolls. So eight things. And we got the cranberry sauce. Nine things. Is that it? <laughs> we didn't get a dessert. So I'm a. Show me the popsicles. Fingers crossed my check comes in the morning, you guys, because I would Fossil love clothes. to run back out to because the only store that's open tomorrow, Walmart is closed tomorrow, but Kroger's is open tomorrow until three o'clock. So I am that's going so beautiful lighting that, you, that, that gave me good good lighting. I was looking kinda girl. Yeah, your eyes were all popped and stuff. Yeah, the background. <laughs> So we definitely I did get water because we are definitely a water family. I love water. But for big meals like that, kind of like a little carbonation to like burp it up a little bit. So I wanted to get some burners and a Coke, some Cokes and the cans. So when I tell you 
I didn't get paid today. I was supposed to get paid today. I have zero dollars. I had literally two dollars in my cash app and nine cents in my bank account. Uh, my husband was able to get $77 cash he had and $58 on his card. And with that, we were able to buy our Thanksgiving meal. All the things that I just listed for you is what I'm gonna be cooking tomorrow. So I just wanted to thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because were we not gonna have some place to eat? No, we always have some place to go to eat. But we definitely um, made a, a decision to cook from home tomorrow. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm really thankful. I'm really thankful. I'm really thankful that God was able to work that out for us. So right now we are heading home. We have nothing left to do but bring everything upstairs. And I thought about doing some prep work tonight, like chopping and stuff, but no, oh, I'm just gonna do it in the morning because I'm tired. I'm so, tired. You got anything else you wanna add? I love you guys. <laughs> I, I love you guys too. And what is that line that's bothering me? Oh, it's, I'll tell you what it is when I stop recording. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. Happy holiday. I'm gonna say happy Halloween. No, happy holiday. Happy thank you. Want me to say happy Thanksgiving? Happy Turkey Day. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Ooh. What's up, y'all? I know. Look at me. I literally have on what I had on yesterday. Let me tell you what happened. Right now it's 5:55 in the morning, and you know we were talking about like the intercessory prayer and. The women's conference I went to if you saw the last vlog you'll see one of the panelists comes on and talks about what intercessory prayer is so I've been getting up you know normally y'all that sister girl is up between 5 30 and 6 o'clock every day but lately I've been getting up like at 4 50 4 30 like it's ridiculous 4 o'clock in the morning so I've I've been and I, 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 I talked about this in my vlog. I've been saying, like, when I wake up, I roll over and be like, Lord, I don't know what's going on, but you want me to pray for him, so help him, Jesus. And then I go back to sleep. And that is not what I'm supposed to do. That's not being obedient. So today, I woke up. It was 4.36. And I said, okay, I'm going to be obedient today. So I got up, I went to the bathroom, and then... Instead of getting in the bed, I got on my knees at my bed and I started praying. And I pr and I prayed. I prayed what I'm supposed to pray. And the Holy Ghost came to me <laughs> and said, you need to go talk to your mama. And this is my mother-in-law, y'all. And I got some of blessed oil when I was at the uh, conference Saturday. And the Holy Spirit told me to get the blessed oil, go over to your mama, and pray for her and give her the oil. I said, I said, right now, Lord, <laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning. And the Lord said, I'm telling you what to do. Like you, I heard the voice in my head, clear, loud, specific. I'm thinking about something else. I'm praying for something else. And this is what the Lord said. So, I get up. <laughs> I'm still talking to the Holy Spirit. Like, I don't know. This seems a little... That's kind of crazy. Right now? You want me to go over there right now? <clears throat> so, I put my clothes on. I just grabbed my clothes from yesterday. Just threw them on. Girl, I haven't brushed my teeth. I haven't washed my feet. I haven't put a comb through my head. Nothing. I just got up and I went. No, I no, I did not. Just went. I got up. Put my clothes on. Still talking to the Lord. I came in the living room. I said, Well, I, I'm just gonna call Lord. Just to make sure she because my mother plays cards. So I'm like, let's make sure she's there and she's up. And the Lord says, She there and she up. But I I still called because that's me. And she didn't answer the phone. But I still put my coat on. Because it's still going. My mother-in-law lives four minutes from me. If I catch a light. And it's just one light between us. Um, so I'm just going to go in there anyway. 
But as I was zipping up my coat, she called me back and I didn't answer the phone. And then I thought, she up, okay. Well, she gonna think something's wrong because I'm calling her really, really early. I don't want her to call Raymond's phone, but she didn't. <clears throat> I went over there and I knocked on the door. And she came to me and she said, Baby, what are you doing here? And I told her, and she said, you know, I was asleep. She said, but I'm glad you gonna woke me up because I, <laughs> she had her chitlins on. She said her chitlins would've been all burnt up. She fell asleep cooking her chitlins. <laughs> Y'all have to excuse me sniffing. She is dog sitting and it's a beautiful, beautiful, big gorgeous um, American um, Border Collie Shepherd in her house. And I, my dog was a Border Collie and um, German Shepherd mix. So, <clears throat> but I'm really, 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 really allergic to pets <laughs> at this point. So nose is nose and eyes is eyes and, and throat is itching. So just bear with me. But um, anywho, I got on to say that we don't know how important it is to take that time out to pray. I have my prayer corner or my prayer closet, and it's in, and it is this time. This time of the morning is my prayer time, my prayer closet. Usually, you know, six to six thirty or five thirty to six thirty before I get ninety up for school. But um, it's important that you have that time so that you are able to be obedient. And you are able to be transparent in your prayers because I was very focused. I was very focused in my prayer this morning. Um, and I think that's why it was very clear for me to hear the Lord. Anyway, I had a good conversation with my mom. I ended up staying over there for an hour. I literally just walked back through the door, not even five, just long enough to make me a cup of coffee. That's how long I've been in the house. So... I told myself I did not want to get up super early and start cooking, but it's now six o'clock. So I am going to enjoy my cup of coffee first. <clears throat> Find something on the Netflix to watch um, while I start chopping and screwing everything up. But I do want to get, I have a, a roast, a pork roast that I want to put in the oven and I want to roast it slow. So I'm going to do that. And then I have to get the, um, I have to get the turkey legs in the oven too. Mm. Yep, and I don't think I have enough pans for everything, but you know, we gonna do what we do. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving, guys. I hope you are going to enjoy your day. I'm gonna try to check in throughout the day, but if you're up at six o'clock in the morning like me, Mama, okay, you powering through to make your family the most delicious, extravagant Thanksgiving meal. Yet again, because not not that they ever had. <laughs> no, yet again. Okay, then we got to get our minds right. So before I go into this kitchen, I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna finish my blunt. And then I'm gonna go in. I know I'm washing dishes. Okay, I, I was here long enough to make coffee and wash dishes. But to my to my defense, it was already half loaded. So, yeah. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Blessed be. Happy Thanksgiving. It's now 1228, you guys. What's up? My daughter said I'm getting good lighting, so we'll finish here while I'm waiting for the traffic to go. We are headed to Croker's. I did get paid. Woo woo. You did? Yeah. Okay. Got paid this morning. So we are heading up to Kroger's to pick up a couple of things that we didn't get a chance to get yesterday. Like, um, first of all, some drinks, the eggnog, the burners, and the Coke. But um, we did add on there the hot sauce. I forgot hot sauce. That's crazy. And we ran out of trash bags. So we got to pick up a couple of things as we um, head over there. So fingers crossed that they do have um, eggnog because daddy made me feel like they're not. But... If not, we'll get some, oh, we're getting some stuff to go into our hot cocoa too. I want to get some whipped mint, cream. Whipped cream. And daddy wants a mint chocolate yeah, to I, melt in there, he said. Yeah, and I just, I just want you want peppermint. Yeah, the cap. Yeah. All right, so we are on a mission to grab a few things and head back to the house. What do I have done? I have... Um, the potato salad is done. Imani made the potato salad. Mm -hmm. It was her first time. 
The greens are three fourths of the way done. Um, that pork roast, that pork roast is about, huh? My fingers look thick. That pork roast is is so delicious, and I know I was questioning it, but I'm glad I got it. Um, but that's about three quarters to almost to done. It's almost done. Just just need a little bit more razz on it. By the time we get back, I will take it out. It'll be done. The dressing is in the oven. The green beans are on the stove, and the corn is off the cob and seasoned. Everything is diced that needs to be diced. The only thing I have left to do, oh, the mac and marion cheese is put together. The cheese is going to oven. We re we didn't have any tinfoil, so I need some tinfoil. But um, the only thing that's left to put in the oven is the yams, the mac and cheese, and what else does I have to make? Yams. The yams, the mac and cheese. That's all. That's it. Two things. I'm done. After that. Cheese. It was three things. The green beans is 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 done. Put they on the oven. The green. So by the time we get there, probably we have the oven. Oh, the corn. <laughs> the fried oh, yeah. corn. I had to fry the corn. I have to do the yams and the macaroni and cheese. I don't know why I wait to the end of doing yams. I guess because I hate peeling yams and I expertly hate cutting them. It makes my hand hurt. She, she was just telling me how her fingers were. She actually cleaned and cut the greens for the first time this year, too. And she was saying, like, her hand was, her finger was, like, cramped. It was hurting. I was like, yeah, that's how I feel from, yeah, holding that. The, the knife. Oh, shoot. We forgot the knife, too. We didn't broke a knife. Raymond broke a knife trying to turn this roast. Crazy town. And you said that was a good just, yeah. It was. It was. It was a good knife. It's a, it's a freaking great knife. So uh, we'll have to get some new knives uh, when I redo the, some of the kitchen stuff. But yeah, so far so good. We're having a good time. Just vibing. Listening to some tunes. And getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. I don't know about you. I am always hungry. <laughs> that food is smelling so good. I need smell a mile away. I know. But anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic Thanksgiving. I hope if you're leaving out the house, it's good to go and be with family and friends. But at 12, 32, you're probably not. You're probably cooking and you don't have something at your house and you're trying to run to the store. Well, if you're going to Kroger's, Kroger is definitely open until 3. <laughs> um... Every place else is closed. If you live in Michigan, Myers might be open, but Walmart's closed for sure. And yeah, Target's is closed for sure. But thank you, Jesus, for leaving open Walmart. I mean, I'm about to say Walmart, leaving open Kroger's. And we're about to pull up now. So my my joy will be to finish up with getting everything in the oven. The kitchen, I've been cleaning as I, I go. And I just want to like play my game or take a little nap or something. It's just something to chill out, it's enjoy my holiday. I love you guys. I hope you have a great holiday. Bye. Why, how are you eating a whole mini bowl of... <laughs> Do you have any shame? <laughs> Let me put a little bit over Look at what your dad doing. My baby know. over here is starving to death. And you is... I can taste that. That was that garlic right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at your face. My stomach just growled. Mm -hmm. Come back over here. Hey, y'all. Oh, Jesus, that sounds terrible. Good morning, y'all. It's Friday. Hey, 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 hey. It's the Black Friday. Day after Thanksgiving. I am actually. I just took a lift because Ray has to work today. Okay, sorry, the light is lighting. I know now you'd be like, ooh, that's perfect lighting. That's y'all know she can, I don't know where to put y'all to get good lighting. I'm sorry, let's try this way. How's that? Still pretty bad? I don't know. Either way, we won't be on here long. I'm just kind of feeling you on. I haven't done my hair, but I've taken a shower, brushed my teeth, did my skincare, threw on some clothes, got a lift and ran over to my dad's house to grab his mariner to use today because I didn't think <laughs> uh, Ray's working today so today is triple time for him my baby's about to make $800 working 10 to 6 not even a real day so yeah it's 
so I had to go get the car. <laughs> we are going thrifting! Oh! I know, Black Friday. Everybody's like, oh, get some new, get some new. It will be new. It'll be new to me. And nine, nine times out of ten, it might still be new with the tags on it. Let me tell you, my value world at FC does not disappoint. Anytime they do a 50% off sale, I tell you what, they put, they bring out everything. They bring out stuff from the back. Everything aisles are cramped and full of people and product. There's just an impossible amount of things that to look through. So I was gonna go early and just come back before Ray had to leave for work, but no. This is a day where we have to like really focus and you know look at all the materials and things like that because I promise you I don't have the bag with me today but the last few purses I've gotten have been designer purses uh, I just got a, 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 a ah, shit I can't even remember the name of the bag it's a uh, Kate help a bitch out you know what I'm trying to say I ain't had no coffee yet or a blunt so I'm trying like I'm, I'm fucking trying I'm fucking trying right now uh, Anyway, um, anyway, that was a $600 bag at um, brand new retail. Are you coming up? Guess not, sir. You got your turn signal on, but it's like you're not Mr. Big Truck. Um, so that bag right now retails for $150. Originally, it was a $600 bag that I got for $3 because it was on sale. It was $6, and then I got, it was like a purple tag or something. Which was I don't know, but I shocked like this all the time because it is amazing deals you can find. I know I can afford newer things and go into these stores and you know there are certain things like electronics and stuff like that and there are some clothes and items that I want you know brand new but it is the thrill of it for me. It's exciting I'm starting to see my daughter really like she gets excited when we go to because like today her goal is to thrift shop, um, thrift shop for her baby. Okay, so part of her Christmas present that she asked for was um, that we give her baby clothes for her babies. And I told her, okay, we'll go ahead on Amazon, start looking, put stuff in a, a Christmas wish list for you, girl. My grandbaby, my future grandchildren are going to be very spoiled because she, she does not pay attention to dollar, dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> but that's cool. And I'm like, okay, so then when we went last weekend, when I got my purse and she got a, a cute brand new tag on sweater dress, super cute. I think it was from, um, Old Navy, but, um, I took her over to like the baby aisle and stuff. And yeah, she was like, oh my God, uh, this would be so cute for my son. This is cute for my baby girl. She's so cute. <laughs> I love that. Even though she's getting big and you know, she's like, she's getting her big girl room and you know, all that fun stuff. She, um, she still wants to be a baby girl. She still wants to play with her baby dolls. So I love that. I think that's really sweet. So, I love that. Anyway, I am getting ready to head back to the house. I'm, I'm on the exit now, I'm only a few minutes away. I'm gonna jump out of this car and get into my car, which is a lie, because I don't have the key. The key is upstairs. But I do need to get some gas in that car, so. I'm going to run upstairs and grab the key, run back downstairs, hit the gas station, and bring it back for Ray so he doesn't have to do that. All right, guys. I'll see you at the stores. Bye. All right, sis. Are you excited? Yes. Your first Black Friday? Mm, no. Not, not like outside. I have with shopping banana. On Black Friday before? Yep. Um, in, in Kroger's or oh. Walmart. I'm probably Walmart, no one Nana. <laughs> yeah. So we are headed to Value World because everything is 50% off right now, which means when we get there, everything should be pulled out from the back 
and we are on a mission to do some shopping for my grandbabies. And I'm gonna try to see if I can snag a couple bags too. And whatever else we see. Because I'm trying to match with their little robes. Oh, they look so cute in robes too. Oh, and I need a napkin holder. And what else did me and daddy say? I was going for a napkin holder and something else there. It'll come to me. Alright, let's go. Alright, love you. Bye. Smile for me, baby. Mm -hmm. This is oh baby, it is packed. It is packed. Look at those hands full, baby. I'm excited. It's packed. They have oh look at all them. Look at them bags. Are you kidding me? Hope they can get all the good stuff. Cause we ready. I'm always a bachelor. So, so grab you a buggy. Huh? When you go in, grab you a buggy. I'm gonna get in the line to pay for the gift card, okay? Okay. Then you head over to the baby rack and I'll meet you there. Okay. You excited? Yeah. Thanksgiving food at the house, but that's for dinner tonight. I'm not double dipping. Raymond's double dipping. He actually took Thanksgiving food to work, so he is definitely not going to want to eat it when he come home. He's going to say, uh, whatever. Anyway, did we win at Value World? Hell yeah, we did. We did. Tell me what you guys think. Um, so I got some baby clothes. She got a lot of baby clothes. And I got some baby bottles. Uh huh. And bibs, and you got it because don't, don't drop it on me. I'm not. <laughs> okay, good. I'm trying to help help you out here. Uh, and she got um, she got baby clothes, baby bottles, baby bibs, and baby shoes. <laughs> Until we start moving. Sorry. I think that'll work. Okay. Very good. Um, I am. Well, I got a pair of jeans. I don't know if they're gonna fit me or not. I don't have any jeans. Like every time I go to buy a pair of jeans, they're either too big or not flattering. So I, you know, don't end up keeping them. But or they just like fit me weird in the butt or the stomach area. And I'm like, mm -hmm, that's not gonna work either. But I don't have any jeans. I've been wearing leggings forever, so I got a pair of jeans. I do have this 50% off coupons um, that I'm oh, gonna grab my muscle down and turn. Um, that wrong way. Ha! <laughs> um, that we get to use, but they're not going to be valid until the 26th of December. Oh, that's a beautiful lighting. Okay, slay. I'm failing my chest. Because he didn't turn. And he let the light turn red like an ass. Okay, whatever. Anywho, um, so yeah. So, we also... So we also um, stopped at Kroger's because we ran out of cranberry sauce. So we didn't run out. I bought the wrong kind of cranberry sauce. Hold on to your giblets. Your giblets. I'm turning it. Um, and uh, then we picked up some snacks. Bought some more chocolates to go with hot chocolate. I didn't ask you. How did the hot chocolate taste when you went? It was good. She had, did you put whipped cream on it too? No, she I forgot. She forgot whipped cream. So we're going to make some hot chocolate this afternoon. I have like a little hot chocolate bar, so we got like some chocolate, some peppermint. We show you when we get, we're like right almost there. Yeah, we're almost there. And we're gonna do a haul of what we got from the thrift store. Um, I, like I said, I just got a pair of jeans and a sweater. I really wasn't there to shop for me, but I did get a picnic basket. I know she hates when I get so excited about something like that, but I got a picnic basket. And I've been really, really wanting to have something cute like that because we literally always <laughs> go to the park we are always packing stuff up and going to the park so this is super cute and it has like cups and plates and stuff in there so i can't wait to show you guys but for um the most part we had a really wonderful day and Donnie's getting her fish filet i think i'm gonna get i said i wanted like some cheeseburgers because that's kind of the kick i've been on lately but i think i might get some nuggets this time I'm just so hungry. I'm trying to figure out what the heck I want to eat before we get there so we can just order and go. All right, you guys. We'll see you on the inside, Keith. Thanks.
My thing, my finger won't do it because it's fluffy. All right, so this is part of the haul. We're gonna go in and show you guys everything, but for right now, this is what we got. We got a few things for the boy, well, not the boys, Raymond and Tay. They're my boys that are here. So, now we are eating and watching the squid, squid game. I don't know what this is, like competition. Challenge. It's a competition, challenge. challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I love it. All right, we are back. We stopped to eat and then we, um, watched a few episodes of the Squid Game um, Challenge. So, I'm gonna let you mm -hmm. do yours first, and then I will do mine, because I'm gonna start the dishwasher, load the dishwasher. So, just to tell you, everything that we bought today was 50% off. The total was $110, um, so, we actually have about two hundred dollars worth of stuff here. Um, yeah, it was one hundred ten dollars. Forty of that was a gift card that I purchased. I purchased a gift card before we started, so that I could get the fifty percent off coupon, which is good between um, December twenty sixth and January first. I have three of those coupons, and I also have a ten dollars off. Um, for my points and I have another 50% off coupon that I'm going to use that's good after the 8th to the end of January. Okay. So I'm telling you this because it's super important to recycle back into the community. Again, these are quality things. The things that Nani has are her Christmas gifts. She's going to pick out one Christmas outfit. So while you're showing them, put the Christmas outfit that you want to keep. Okay. And then she has a regular everyday outfit that you want to keep and a bib and a bottle for each of my grandbabies. Um, the rest we're gonna wrap up and put under the tree and she can play, up with, play with them and open them on Christmas. So, <laughs> with that being said, Munchie, <laughs> go ahead and, <laughs> I, I'm gonna turn this heat off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go right ahead. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> if you see the prices on it, tell how much you paid. People are interested in knowing how much this stuff is. That I don't remember. They gave it okay, to me for, okay. for a couple of dollars. Um. So I got this from the thrift store, obviously. And <laughs> I hate you. I, hate you. <laughs> I was trying to scare you. <laughs> it was all like you. All of I was trying head. to tell you. You got to speak a little louder because oh. my phone is across the room. Oh my gosh. So, I got um, these shoes, obviously, from the thrift store. And I wanted to match it with um, Caden's outfit, the boy. Um, the Christmas outfit. And... Oh, this is, like, the, the um, model of this dress for the girl. So, when she, sit, when she lays down, you uh, can see, see everything. It's like a little mini diaper for the bottom. And she had this for, um, um, give me a minute. These do to match with this, her little outfit. It says baby bear. Um, and we got this outfit to match. And he's gonna wear this with it. It doesn't uh, match with it, but the um the scarf does a little bit. We're just gonna act like it matches. Um, I and I looked. I saw this on Amazon, but it was just a plain gray one, a gray one. And I've been really. I've been really look, looking forward to seeing these. Like, I never really touched one. It's like silicone. Like, mm -hmm. is it silicone? Yeah, I think it's silicone. Silicone, and it's like really good. And then it can, if you, it's not the right size, you can like change it. Um, what's this price? This one is one dollar. Yeah, one dollar and twenty cents. Um, and you get to change it. While I was, while I was saying. 
the right size for your baby. Because when they eat, and you know, they mess in there and drop it from their mouth, it will land here and it's much easier to clean. I think they know how to use a bed. Pull no. out the outfits. That's what they want to see, the clothes. The clothes? I love them though. I love how you matched up that outfit. You did that, girl. And then, this is clothing, so don't say anything. Okay. So this is the hat for him. I forgot to give him a, her a hat, but she, I think she got like a little hoodies in there, I think. I don't know. And she got hats in there. And we got this. This is so cute. I like the little pattern. The pattern is really cute. That's what I liked about it. I don't even care what color it is. And we got another. This is the beautiful color. And like I'm saying, like this is the good color. I love brown. Like beige brown. And white goes really good. This is like $1.10. Pretty good price for me. <laughs> for me. I don't know my mom. <laughs> I don't know about her. <laughs> and we had this. Right. And we had this really, really cute Santa, Santa, um, excuse me, onesie. It's really cute. And I didn't even realize it has a little Santa on his butt. Oh, that's cute. Didn't realize that. That's really cute. And I see you, um I forgot to tell you guys that it was some matching outfits. It's actually both a lot of matching outfits. And we had another bib to match with some of their outfit this his outfit. <coughs> Excuse me. Well yeah. And then we had a little cute I was gonna put this put, put them on. Put this on here. And it's a little skirt. It's, it's so cute, and then a little, um, what do you call these? Mm -hmm. What do you call these? Um, it's a dress, like a little romper. A romper. Yeah. We have a romper for her. And let me, this is the, oh, and, got this cute, I don't know, it just reminds me of, of the Mean Girls, when they did the dance. Mm -hmm. I can see that. This is so cute, and I'm, if it doesn't, fit her, I'm gonna do something. Like, I'm gonna be so mad. Like, well, if, it's, it'll, if it's long, it's just a long dress. Well, if it doesn't, like, just doesn't fit, I'll show up like, yeah, no, if it, if it doesn't fit, the only thing it can be is too long. True. Yeah. Well, I pretty much can't fit this, like, a little shirt, except for this, I can't fit because I want arms. And we have a little, another little one, see? Not a one. Oh! <laughs> Not a dropping. And got a little pants. Is this for the boy? Yeah. For the boy, too. Another outfit. Like, the other one. Like, this one. They're both the same Santa, but this one is hand. Um, you don't have to talk about that. Um, oh. Not to with that bag. Which, this is not yet, but it's not yet. Um, let's get more clothes. And this time it has a lot of this one. I'm just gonna rip it because I don't care. This is like, I don't know. How do you just make it in? Mm -hmm. It was stuffed underneath there. Oh. Yeah. But okay. it's, it's two pieces. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. It's like a little tutu and leggings and a little top. It's so cute. This is so cute. And it has a little skirt. I'm a, yeah, skirt. A little tutu, same thing. Skirt, tutu, same thing to me. Um, it's so cute. And a little Santa on it. And we can probably get this and this matching. Like, because this is basically the same as Santa for the book can. So, yeah. <clears throat> This is so cute and so cozy. I can see myself wearing this. And his, he has a little turkey on his feet. <laughs> but I uh, mean, that accent. A little turkey on his feet. It's so cute. And I have seen these in the. I've been always like, like, I don't know why do they make it around like that, but I get it now. But you can just make it across because you have little holes, little legs for them. You know what I mean. Like this, like this, like, oh, they're not living. And this is supposed to go, 
Right now I have 18 clothes. What? Yeah, I have 18. And this goes with this. Little skirt. Um, yeah, it's pretty cute. It's okay. And then her shoes. Her shoes are so cute. Her shoes are so cute. Oh my god, I was barely in the camera. That's sad. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. We're um just a guy like that have this. If you're gonna see this, this right here. It's so cute. I love black, black and front hair color. So obviously she's gonna have black. Oh, and it just messed up her little um thing. And it's a size three. So if, uh, hopefully it fit her. So then we know it was her. She's a size three. This is like a Vans, you know the shoe brand Vans. It was like, just pretty much fit her. Cheap. Well, we can already know this cheap without. And um, the thrift store is cheap. Doesn't have that. Doesn't have that good sound. And you can slide easily. Well, your baby won't be walking because he's a newborn. <laughs> Can't walk yet. And this is the cutest thing. It, it looks like me. It's, I would wear this. And this time has little unicorns. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And I got another, another PJs. So pajama. And it's a little bear. Hmm. It's a little, I don't know what kind of bear, we're just gonna call it a polar bear because it's like halfway white. <laughs> so, and it has little pockets. So I can barely put my finger, I can only put like one finger in there. I can see where I can put my thumb in there. Yeah. That's um, one tough cookie. And we got this bell slash um, princess and the frog. Because <laughs> it's, you know, the original yellow, obviously. And the frogs. The mom, the baby, the baby. You got twins. And that's just, just like my storyline. And then we got this cute. Ooh. Cool. This cute dog for her, and then we put this over it. It's a little jacket. It's so cute. And we were walking around instead of being cold. It's like, so warm because we be like long sleeves here. So cute. And him, little self. Oh, we have this. I forgot what this one was. Which one? Yeah, like that's the one for the Detroit Tigers. Thank you. Huh, I'm a tiger too. Yeah, you sure are. So this will definitely support my school. Definitely. But this time it's blue. This is blue, not black. It's blue. This is more bigger, like, for chunky. Well, he is chunky. No offense. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a 35. wonder what number, who number that is. Um, yeah, we got this cute little outfit for him. And another one, this one is football, this one is mommy's um, rookie. This is so cute. I don't think the inside is comfortable, but it is cute outside and outside. And he has a little more shoes, a little more shoes. So yeah. Um, and then we have... Mickey Mouse. Get little Mickey Mouse for him because he, he deserves Mickey Mouse. I write it as Mickey Mouse and Mickey Mouse. And this um, costs $1.86. And the last one on our list, well, not our last one of the clothes. Yes, it is, actually. No, not the last one of the baby stuff. Um, this is so cute. It looks so comfortable. It has a little honey. That is so cute. I feel like I could put two, both of them in here. That's how, that's how big it looks. But mm -hmm. like, trust me, I hope it will fit him. I hope. So I would just pick two, two outfits. 
And a bib. And a bib. And a bottle. And a bottle. Well, I already know. I'm gonna just get the bottles that I had out last time. Why is it wet? Because I just pushed it over from the, the pots and pans. Oh. You negotiating? What do I get if I give you the shoes? A kiss. No, I don't want a kiss. I get those for free. Um, anything that you want. I want the floor swept and vacuumed. Okay. Then you get the shoes. Hey. Where's that one? I don't know. It's in here somewhere. Okay. So this. All right. And what's the second outfit? What you looking for? Which the one? same, the same outfit. You get it's already over I there. Know. I got both the, of them. Oh yeah, both of them. Yeah. Fine. I just need his shoes. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm like. What are you looking for? Okay. Okay. That's all. Oh. Okay. And an everyday outfit. Okay. This one. Um. Alright. And the rest we'll wrap up and put under the Christmas tree. You wanna get a <laughs> grocery bag for me? Yes. And you can put them in a grocery bag. And which bibs are you look, look gonna do? You got three of them. Are you doing a gray one? Yeah. And which other one? Um this one. Alright. Alright, so your stuff is over here. 
And while she's packing that up, guys, I'm gonna show you what I got. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Now it's Mama's turn. You need two bags, girl. Oh, no, I got it. You got it. All right. So first thing, I went in looking for something specific. Actually, handbags. Um, you know, I have downsized my purses. I do have some purses that are like big, but um, I only pull them out sometimes. So um, the first one is a Liz Claiborne purse. Can you do those in a minute? It's so loud where I'm trying to talk. That's okay. Just grab the, yeah, grab the clothes. You remember you have to take the sticker, the. Yeah, I know. And the scissors and stuff is over there. And be careful of the staples, okay? Okay. All right, good. So I wanted a little brown bag. And shout out to my super duper shopping partner, Imani. Because she picked up this cute little Liz Claiborne. She liked it because it was longer than my black bag. She says it sits better. And you're right. Look, Stinky. It does. This one has a mirror on the inside. It has a zipper and a pocket. It looks fairly not used. Also has a built-in wallet. So again, great, great, great find from Imani. And this purse was $7.90. And don't forget everything that we bought today was 50% off. So this is a $3 purse. Okay, I also got, so she picked this one out personally for me. She went and walked the aisles and picked this one out. This one I picked up, but she said this is her favorite. This one is your favorite, right? I didn't say it was my favorite. Oh, out of the three I picked. No, it's not my favorite. The brown is? Yeah. Okay, well, she does like this one, but if she had to list them in an order, like one through three, one being the best purse, that would be three. This is the worst? He, no, actually the other blue one. Can I see those scissors real quick? You, you actually left scissors. Isn't the scissors right by you? No. Oh, they're by my um, laptop. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Oh, so, I bought this bag because of the color. I don't have a purse this color and I do like pops of color like if I'm wearing it all black I will wear this bag because it's just a beautiful kind of teal color it has those really cool gold chain accents um as you can see it has not been used it's brand new This is, I actually have to take the sticker off. I can't see it. Like a brand new bag, y'all. Two brand new bags. This one is an Iman bag. It is zipper. It has one inside pocket. It has a nice quilted um, print on it. This bag was $13.50. Again, half off. I would never buy a $13 bag. I wouldn't do it. $6, $6, $8 tops. But that's be pretty good. Anywho, this bag is oh, so cute. You got it, sweetie? Yes. Don't try to get the staples out with the scissors because you will cut the um, fabric. What do you think? A good length. Mm -hmm. Love the gold chain and then the nice little accent at the top. Great find. And the third bag I got, which was highly debatable, was a Samantha Brown bag. It is in this like blue, I like to call it like a, a little deeper than pewter, but it is a very gorgeous shade of blue. I, I don't know how it's coming across on the camera but it is really pretty these handles are why I picked up this purse in the shape first of all I love the shape it's nice angular once I uh, stuff it I'm gonna make it nice and angular um, but the handles 
go down. So it takes it from, and then when you smush it, it takes it from a handbag to a clutch. I love double duty. I love any bag that can do double duty. So this bag has two sides. Now it's not, I mean, even when you kind of smush it down, it's still not a lot of room, but it has a zipper, a pouch, and like two little pockets for cell phones. I don't know who cell phone fits in there. Definitely not mine because mine is oversized. This bag was $4.80. This is a $2.20 clutch that I am in love with. Nani hates this bag. Hate might be strong. Do you hate it or do you just not I like hate it? it? Oh, okay. I, it was it was exactly what I said. So I love purses. I don't know what's going on with me and purses. I really should be looking at shoes, but I have another place in Garden City that we go to for shoes. And when I tell you, you do, we do. Me and my daughter love this place. So yeah, in, in Garden City. I also picked up a pair of kid of um I'm sorry Steve Madden shades. It was a chemical bag I looked at. It was a laptop bag, but I put it back. Um, these need to be cleaned off. But <clears throat> these are super cute. I like the shape of these. <laughs> Did you perfectly, Stinky? It does. Goo goo gaga. <laughs> so I have these glasses. I really like the shape of these. They're nice and dark which I wear glasses not just for the fashion but because I suffer from migraines so being outside in the sun will cause me to get a migraine I, this was a good buy mm -hmm. this was a good buy I think these were three dollars so a dollar fifty no I take that back it, these were 1080 so these were five bucks <clears throat> the other glasses I picked up were free I have expensive taste <laughs> All right, um, then I got one more bag that I wasn't sure on, but, and it has a little, like, yeah, it probably had a wallet that was clipped to it, but it's not there anymore. So it's just inside, no extra pocket, um, place for like little cars and your license. It has a magnetic um, closure, and this was 420. This one again, it's just longer. It's not like right here up under my boob, under my arm. It's actually a good spot. And it is black and white with like white um, blurred flower accents. It's kind of given like watercolor. That's what it is, it's a watercolor. So anyway, I don't know. I like it. I picked it up, obviously I like it. But um, four bags out of the deal, I'm happy for that. Um, we also got my husband and my son, um, two gifts. I'm not going to show them because Deontay, hey son, I know you're watching. You always watch me. <laughs> what a good boy. And Dre. But this gift, um, Dre wouldn't appreciate it. He wouldn't like it. But, um, his brother and his dad would. So I did get that, but it is hidden away locked and keyed so yeah but we were able to get two really nice gifts okay and then lastly last week now you want to grab your sweater dress so i can show them Hold up. okay while she's getting her sweater dress i'm going to show you these things i might even try them on just to see if they fit because if they don't fit i'm gonna probably just give them to stinky nope. so these are just some amber and fitch jeans it's a 30 by 32. It says a rustic athletic slim. I have one leggings, so that's why I'm gonna try them on. Okay. Of course, they'll feel a little different. It's hard to slide them up when you got them other pants. But yeah, they fit. whole bunch of shit going on. Okay. All right. Mm 
well they fit however the zipper was broken i didn't break the zipper nope i know how to break a zipper i know what it feels like when i break a zipper the zipper's broken no big deal i can literally take them I can literally take them to the store to get him, to get the zipper fixed to the cleaners. Now, the zipper was broke on these pants. Oh my gosh, you just spent your money for nothing. Well, they fit though. These were seven sixty. Well, you can fix it with a zip tie. But I can't use them. Yeah. All right. And last week, last week's finds were this cute sweater dress for Imani, which I tried on and I thought it was super cute on me. And I love the color. So I got myself one for 1080. This is um, from Moda. You give me so sad. <laughs> so I got myself a sweater dress too. Cute, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that's just like my, my twins. With my leggings, I mean with my black tights and my black boots. I'm excited for that. And then last and absolutely the least, here's your sweater back, sweetie. I got a picnic basket. Lovingly referred to by Yogi Bear as a picnic basket. You guys know we're always walking. Sorry. To the park and hanging out at the park and doing, you know, park stuff. So, cause we actually live next door to the park. So this was $8.98. I got it for $4, y'all. It needs to be cleaned out though, it's dirty. Um, it's a cute little latch, which we struggled with, but as long as we keep it, um, <laughs> Clothes, it'll the wicker will reshape this stuff, but it comes with the silverware. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four sets, so it's a set of four, a uh, serving um, set for four. It has um, plates, and these are hard plastic plates. Like it came with glow sticks, a plastic um, tablecloth. A frisbee and these four cups that kind of go on the side you can tell it was wherever it was for a long time never used because these jokers are extremely stretched out baby they don't fit on the little plates go off to the side so basically everything fits on the side even though it's very stretched out but there see everything fits on the side and then you put oh, the nice. food in the middle for your nice day out so that is fun and that is the haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're having a really good after Thanksgiving Friday. I won't call it a Black Friday, but after Thanksgiving Friday. I don't know how I closed it last time. It's like been somewhere stuck. So, let's see. Uh, now you want to come and twist this for me? I want to make sure I twist it so that it. Okay. You want me to push off? Straight on. Okay, you push. Push the sides. And then I'll turn. Don't push so hard, baby. You're just smushing my fingers. Sorry. Right? <laughs> well, your fingers in there. Yeah, because I'm trying to hold the bottom. Ugh. We had it earlier. Because I'm doing it the same way. All right. Yeah. Okay. The 
concentration and focus. Okay. You know I mean? Ta da! Concentration and focus. All right, guys. I love you. Bye. Y'all, Miss Pat is the funniest show. I don't know if I told y'all about Miss <laughs> Pat, but this shit is hilarious. You have got to watch this episode. I'm dying. I'm dying. What's up, what's up, what's up, my baby? <clears throat> Sorry, I had to grab the knife and throw away because it broke. <clears throat> Happy Sunday. Grabbing the trash, too. It is the Sunday after Thanksgiving. It's about mm, maybe 10.50, almost 11 o'clock. I've been up for a while, but your girl did a little haircut. And I'm heading, because I have to do Stinky's hair today. So she's finishing, gonna finish taking out her hair today. And we're gonna wash it, and then we're gonna do some, she wants to leave her curls out for a while, but I know my daughter. And that's going to get old fast. So I'm going to the beauty supply to grab some bread in here. Um, I'm going to do some passion twists. And I have to go to the dispensary and Kroger to grab some chicken. Raymond really wants to do some fried chicken tonight. And he said he's making it. So let me get it. So fried chicken tonight. So just Kroger to dispensary and the hair store. Yeah, I can get the body wash from Kroger's and toothpaste because we're out of body wash and toothpaste so anyway i see you downstairs guys all right y'all we have made it to the beauty supply this is my neighborhood local beauty supply i have a couple of favorites this is one of them um it is called new image um beauty supply uh formerly known in Galt village which is no more it has been torn down um i remember showing you guys when I first came into the store when it opened up. I loved it. It's only gotten bigger and better. So we're going to go in. Uh, we're looking for hair for you and Kai. We're going to do something fun for her for these passion twists. And I'm going to check out some hair for myself. I, although I did just do this cut, I probably will wear it for a couple of weeks. You know how I do. Um, but you also know how I do. I can change my mind in a minute, baby. You know me. <laughs> okay. So come on. Let's go. That's a cute.
been looking for this copper color, but not in the uh, Moose Deep. I'm looking for it in the Maui Curl, but they don't never have it. They had it one time and it was dope as ever. some color so I gotta figure out what color we're gonna do record to say I just walked out the um, beauty supply and I just said there it is new image beauty supply. and I just felt snow in the air if you grew up in these states that have the worst freaking winters and they're so freaking cold then you know what snow feels like when it's about to snow and it feels like snow is in the air so that sucks let me hear them get what I gotta get and it actually looks snowy like, this is the, the type of clouds we see when it's going to snow. I don't know what the weather's going to be. I have not checked it this weekend because I had not planned to come in my hand by but outside the world. Okay? But, and yet, here I am. Here I am. Yep. All right. Well, so far, so good. We've hit the beauty supply. I got her. Um, I have to mix it. It's going to be a, uh, what is it? OM uh, 27. So like an ombre 27. Um, and then so I'm like, now I'm going to head up the street, right up the street, literally like it, you almost can see it, um, to Kroger's to grab the chicken. And then next door to Kroger's is the family dollar. I'm going to grab the body wash and the toothpaste and deodorant. And then we're heading to dispensary at home. And that is it. That's it, my friends. So anyway, deuces. Family dollar. It's Kroger's. I'm just gonna walk. I parked right there, but I'm just gonna walk. All right, let's go. All I need is three things. Wish me luck. I got the three things super fast, but I had to wait at the checkout counter for the woman to come back up. Mm, yeah, they had salted caramel Twix. I got some. It is so cold. Oh my goodness. I was gonna walk, but I forgot I gotta put the stuff in the car, so I might as well drive over anyway. I know, whatever. It's cold. I don't give a shit. Judge. Judge your mama. I'm just playing. Don't judge your mama. That's not nice. You can judge me. That's fine. <laughs> we ain't got no coats on, and they got on short sleeves. It's 35 degrees. I didn't even make it home and it's already slurrying. Let me hurry up and get through this thing. I actually have to grab some money out of here too. I decided not to go far for this mushroom I'm just going up the street, which is a win for me. And I forgot, I do need shampoo and conditioner, so I'm not going back to Tom Delaware. I'm just gonna grab it in here. So that is the plan, stands. Wendy's. Shampoo and conditioner and pull some money off on my card. All right, let's go. All right, that's it. That is it all. I am heading to House of Dank to pick up the butter and head home. I did pick up um, some vegetable oil. I don't know if we have any, so we need to make sure we did that. <clears throat> we got two packs of chicken, 
plenty and plenty and plenty of sides. What doesn't get eaten today gets frozen, baby. For another day. Pretty successful trip. Can't complain. I gotta do some work myself. That's why I'm glad Raymond uh, is cooking because I'm gonna be doing hair. I think I cut my bangs a little too short this time, but I'll deal. Bye. I told y'all, it, it hasn't even been 30 minutes since I walked out of the beauty supply and said, mm, it certainly feel like snow and yeah, flurries were happening five minutes later and here we are, full blown snowing baby. First snow of the year. It's beginning to feel like the holidays. Okay. I love it. Good morning, guys. I really got to get to editing. I have a couple of um, videos starting from... Must be Thanksgiving. Maybe Thanksgiving Eve. Maybe Thanksgiving Eve. So, I'm going to try to get that video up for you today. Today is Monday. It is, I believe, November 28th. But we will double check. Let me open up my computer. I think it's the 28th. Let's just see. Nope, it's the 27th. A lot. I was watching my baby girl, making sure she leaves off for school. But today is November 27th. Tomorrow's 28th, that's right, 7 o'clock tomorrow, 28th. And that is um, Grandma's birthday, too. So happy Heavenly birthday. Um, anyway, it was a good weekend. Uh, really didn't do much. I love those weekends when you can just lay around the house and not have anything to do, which is really important to me because it seems like I always have something to do on the weekend. But, um, okay, there they go. He got to I think he got her. I can't tell if that's the car from here. Yeah, he turned it left. That's him. Um, so, Thanksgiving I cooked. It was delicious. Raymond cooked yesterday when we made some fried chicken. And I went to the store. Um, so he fried his chicken. Chicken. We had um, some of the greens, yams, and potato salad with it. Love, love, love. What else? We watched Nightmare Before Christmas, and now he knows all the songs and all the words, so therefore I feel like a great parent. Um, yeah, that's it. I played my Sims game. I'm trying to incorporate an Egyptian slash Greek-esque world, so that takes some time. I'm building that world separate from the family I'm playing. And uh, yeah, just get ready for the week. Monday's gonna be a hot mess. So, yeah, Monday's going to be a hot mess. If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you just know that we've been closed since Wednesday. Wednesday was our last day of work. Thursday was Thanksgiving. Friday, we were closed, but there were people working the email queue. So, I find that anything that I look at today... <clears throat> will be a reflection of Saturday and Sunday and not Thursday and Friday, which is nice to not have to walk into work to a crazy, like, email queue, okay? Mm. But, um, it's still gonna be crazy. I'll probably end up taking some voicemails today because for some strange reason, Everything breaks when we're closed. We get the same thing. Everything is like 911 emergency once we open up. So, oh my God, I got to call them. Which is crazy to me to even think that if I have business to take care of, I'm not calling first thing in the morning on a Monday after a holiday. There's no way. I'm going to be on hold forever. There's no way. I had to call my doctor's office. Be like, do I have to come into this appointment tomorrow? Because one, no information's back from my back to my stomach issue. I'm 
doing a colonoscopy and an EGD in February for. So we have no information on that. And three, I don't have a ride. So either we can do this by Zoom or we just can cancel it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm not calling for that. I sent a message in a portal, like an email, basically. So I'm not pressed. When you get back to me, you get back to me. These customers are pressed, baby. Pressed like new jeans, okay? So, it's going to be fun Monday. And we have a meeting at 845, so I'm going to chill out, enjoy my coffee, smoke my blunt, and watch a little TV so I can kind of get myself in the right mind frame for this day. That's all I'm saying. I got to get in the right headspace for this day. If I can get in the right headspace, it'd be great. It'd be great. It'd be great. Um, Ray's home. He um, took off today. Which is funny because my daughter called it last night. I'm going to make sure I let him know that today. <laughs> anyway, I got to edit y'all. So I'm going to get off here and go edit the video so I can get it up at some point today. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for listening. I don't even know why you do. I don't know why you do. I have a lot going on in my life. And it's a lot of exciting things as well as a lot of not exciting things. So I'm trying to like like balance it all. And the best way I can say that I'm able to balance it all is just being able to come on and talk to you guys. And just be able to vocalize my thoughts. Because most of the time they're just running through my brain. And then, like, I lose them. And, I, and I'm like, what was I just thinking about? Well, what was that thought that was really good? You guys make it easy for me to go back and just see what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> so, thank you for helping. I appreciate it. I'm all for questions and answers. So, guys, please make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. It's just Mimi, J-U-S-T-M-I-M-E-E. -E. And, like, drop me a message. Like, send me a DM comment like i love i love 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 conversating with my um babies as i call you go with mimi's babies i love converse, conversating with you guys so anything you want to know let you know drop a drop a question drop a comment whatever i'm there i got your back okay a lot of people have questions about thrifting it's crazy because you guys and I love you so much. Will see me out and about and ask me these questions. Girl, you you might not never see me. You might not never see me. So ask me now. Ask me now. And then we talk about it when I see you. If I see you. You feel me? Ask me now. Thrifting, yes. Makeup, yes. Clearance shopping, yes. I got you. I got you. Just ask. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Good morning, y'all. <clears throat> 7 5 I had a rough night. I slept in my alarm today. I don't usually do that. Then I laid in the bed for a while. I was going to do that. And then... I got stinky up at like 43 after 6.43. And I don't do that. I haven't washed my face yet. Or brushed my teeth. I'm full disclosure. I need to die. So it just don't feel good. I don't know. So remember we had our first snow the other day? And um, it was light bright, you know. Well, last night we had a real snow. It's a real good snow. It's days like this. I'm so thankful I do not have to leave the house to work. This is um, this is a cheap coffee from Walmart. Um, again, you guys know I love my dupes. So this to me is the dupe for the um, the Duncan. I think it's um, the, the caramel brulee. So this is the dupe for that. And I actually added cinnamon because I love cinnamon today. 
cinnamon. I don't love cinnamon all the time, but today I love cinnamon. I'm going through the cinnamon phase. So basically what I'm gonna do is make coffee and go get back in the bed. Strangely enough, that's what I wanna do. I just wanna lay in the bed and drink my coffee. Pray a little bit. So, I think I'm gonna add a little turmeric to for some reason it makes it taste like a, a chai latte. I don't, know. I don't know. I'm just tired this morning. And I did not edit a video. So maybe I'll lay in a bit and edit this video because that's what I need to do. It's Tuesday. Just get some more turmeric. I just put it in the cup. about, you know, half a teaspoon. Not very informative today, y'all. So, one of my things I've been doing to enjoy my coffee at home instead of Starbucks is I got some um, Hershey's Kisses and they are um, chocolate mint, peppermint, and sugar cookie. So today, since I have the turmeric and the cinnamon in it, I think we'll do, we'll do the dark, dark pepper, dark mint. I'm just gonna put them in the cup so that they melt. Peppermint mocha, pretty much. I do have peppermint stick too. So in goes, you see that? The three kisses, my turmeric, the cinnamon, my coffee, the carrot is going. I take it back. I do take the Lasartan. And I think the Lasartan that I take is for my cholesterol. But I don't have high cholesterol anymore. So I'm going to talk to the doc and see if I need to still take this. I actually have a doctor's appointment this morning. But I just finished rolling. So, I take my Lasartan, and that's pretty much it. I don't take the Torvastatin anymore. And then the Metformin ER, which will probably take me off pretty soon for that, after my next A1C. But I've been doing bad, I'm not gonna lie. I've been like, I had a huge sweet tooth. This is, um, I don't even know what the generic is. I mean, what the main name for this medicine is. I believe this is from my stomach. It's two left. I try to take it almost today, Tuesday. In the morning, so that's when I usually feel the most nauseous. I need to refill that. This is regular. I do know what this is. And she said I can only have half a tap of this because I also take this in the morning and as needed. 
because sometimes my stomach is like, oh no, I broke that way weird. Sometimes my stomach is just like on a whole thousand, you know? All right. Tuesday. I'm so good today. It's the little corner too, so that's what I'm oh, just going. God catch the devil in the sun. It's a soft milk peppermint. It don't Just grab with your hands. So, work yesterday was really good. I thought it was going to be crazy because of the holiday, y'all. They cleared out that box on Yesterday, me and Kyle, we cleared the box out until we cleared out all the weekend. So that's Saturday, rest of Friday, rest of Saturday, rest of Sunday, all done yesterday. So today, when we go in, we should only have the 27th and the 28th, yesterday and today. a shower. Okay. 
These will be good in cold pork sandwiches. Right, there's some barbecue sauce. You can repurpose this. And I'm here for it. <laughs> Look, and I'm here for it. What you got on today? Let me see after you put your shoes on. And I didn't buy the cheap tinfoil this year, so I don't know what happened with the tinfoil. But when I tell you it stuck to my macaroni and cheese, how weird is that? Tinfoil isn't supposed to stick. It's non-stick. Crazy. Wash your face. Yeah. All right, go ahead and moisturize that. Okay. You're probably going to need a jacket or something, like a hoodie or something. It's going to be cold today, baby. It snowed. It snowed a lot. I know when you go to your school, though, you got short sleeves. You're going to need some kind of hoodie or a sweater or something. I guess we'll know how cold it is until the first snow at the school. Like, you know, at the school is chilly, but not until that first snow. Work is 
some days you just don't feel it. Today is one of those days where I just I don't feel it. cleaning out the stuff from Thanksgiving is you don't even gotta put the dishes in the dishwasher and run it when you just don't want to do any of that stuff. <sighs> Everything is melted. The chocolate, the peppermint stick. Swirl, swirl. Now, the key. You ready now? Okay, I'm gonna finish my coffee. Three splendors. You have to do what, baby? Okay, yeah, get your snack and stuff. That's perfect. This is just creme brulee. And then I like to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds before it's in the microwave. Let me see. Just test it first. Delicious. So I'm going to heat it for 30 seconds.
with cinnamon on the top. And a peppermint stick stuck. 